has the way that this whole situation with the Tampa main event and obviously the, the co-main event for this card has, has the way it's shaken out uh, surprised you in terms of it, it eventually being Ian Gary who stepped up to face Shavkat and it eventually being Colby Covington who faced who stepped up to face Joaquin Buckley to, to save the UFC Tampa main event? I was a bit surprised, you know, because I thought that it was going to be Buckley and, and Ian Gary. I know that they kind of announced that. And, uh, you know, the UFC can pivot on a dime when when they have to. So I think that this is an incredible fight. And I think it's the right time. A lot of times when you got two undefeated prospects in the same weight class, you kind of want to wait until they get to the top for them to face each other. And that's mm-hmm. essentially what they did with this fight. And they build it as the number one contender fight, as they should. Um so this is this is an incredible fight. You know, I, I originally thought it would be when Bilal withdrew. I thought it would be Usman and um, Shavkat, Ian Gary versus Colby. Things can change on a whim when you're in the UFC. So I think that things shook out even better. I love this Ian Gary fight with Shavkat Rachmanov, and I love this Buckley fight with Colby Covington. It's a big month for for welterweights. Look at a Chavkat and, and Ian. Who do you give the the edge to in that fight? And what would you say are the keys to what maybe one key to victory for each man? Well, I think the big key for victory is um key one one key component to this fight is these guys have trained together. There's a little bit of footage out there of them sparring. They've gotten a feel for each other. So I think the X factor is going to be who can bring a different wrinkle to their to their game plan to to give them something that they haven't seen. Like so, who's going to be the one? to to kind of pivot maybe it's going to be ian trying to mix in some takedowns maybe it's going to be shavkat you know going deviate him from his boxing heavy approach maybe going to the kicks maybe attacking the body with the knees that remains to be seen um but i think that that's going to be the x factor is who can throw in a different who can throw a different wrinkle into their game plan to throw the other person off and i think that that's going to be necessary for both of these guys because they're, they're familiar with each other they've trained together they've got a feel for each other so um, but it's hard for me to lean away from, from, from Shavkat as the guy that gets the win. I think that Shavkat, um, I, I believe that he's going to win. I think it's going to be a good fight. I think Ian Gary could be the guy that could take him the distance for the first time. So we'll see. Mm-hmm.